Praise be to God. We thank God it's Friday. I always remember to bless your weekend. May your weekend be blessed. Amen. May God watch over you and your family and your children. May you stay healthy. I declare that nothing evil will come near you and you shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen. Father, we honor you and we are grateful for another day. We come under your pavilion. We come under your shelter. We come under your wings. Keep us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, I want to share the word of God with you as always. And I believe that um, this is timely and this is essential for us to begin to uh, hear. I'm reading from the book of Proverbs chapter number 14, the verse number 38. Proverbs chapter 14, the verse number 38. The Bible says, a peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Today, I came to to ask a question and and welcome to um, the clinic of God's people. I came to ask, have you taken your peace today? Have you taken your peace today? And that is what I want to share with you and also to pray and attack anything that attacks your peace. Amen. 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 Now, it is critical here. I want you to understand this, that um, to be healthy, I, I recommend that you go to the gym. To be healthy, I recommend that you eat right. Uh, but there is another thing that I want you to understand that uh, a gym cannot fix uh, and healthy food cannot fix. To have a healthy body, the Bible says, the wise man says, Solomon says, it is essential that you choose a peaceful heart and that is what i want to talk to you today about that's what i came to uh, uh, address today uh, that oh, please hear me out when you are given the option to go out with a beautiful woman and a peaceful woman i hope you choose a peaceful woman when you are given the opportunity to take a a, a, a rich job and a peaceful job i pray you choose a peaceful job because peace is a healthy condition the peace of your heart because your heart supports your body and it, it gives it blood but it also gives it peace and so it is essential today that you always remember that peace is the option you want to go for whatever don't choose plenty choose peaceful don't choose pretty choose peaceful don't choose that which is even pure choose what which is peaceful and so i want you to understand the first thing this friday is that you are a person that is big on peace you want a peace of mind so you don't you don't want any fool to come into your circle to destroy your peace i know some people want a clean house more than a peaceful house and so i want you to understand that peace is a health condition and so today i just came to open your heart and your mind to the fact that you are healthy if you take your peace on daily basis as a pastor how do i take my peace on daily basis to take your peace on daily basis is to make a conscious decision to meditate upon the peace of god and to make sure that nothing comes into your circle that it will destroy your peace you don't oh my oh my oh my peace that passes our understanding is what I'm declaring for you. Now here is a challenge. Now you can you 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 can not prevent crazy people from coming into your circle. It is difficult you, unless you move out of this world. You there's always going to be an option, a crazy conversation. But what I'm saying is that because you understand that peace is a tablet peace is medicine when they confront you when they start irritating you uh, don't feed it because you are for peace that means that you have to forgive them before they even start acting a fool that means that you have to do everything to make sure that you are going to be a person of peace you should never go to sleep with a, a disturbances in your heart you never no 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 you are for peace peace is important to you yeah take it take it and go because you want peace they come to disturb you they come to confuse you but because you want peace and you know peace is medicine you know peace feeds your health if you have if you if if you have a peaceful heart you will get healed quicker when you get sick if you have a peaceful heart you will bounce back quicker when life upsets you and so today i came to ask you have you taken your peace yet always put on the peace that passes our understanding 
and I came also to pray because there are certain things the enemy is trying to use to disturb your peace. And today I came to speak against the things that disturbs your peace. I came to speak against the things that torture your peace, the things that disturb your heart, the things that makes you fear. I declare that those things will lose hold upon your heart. Some of you have a very uh, unstable heart. In other words, little things disturb your peace. It doesn't take a lot, but I declare over your heart today that may the shalom of God. God fuel your heart. May the shalom of Elohim come upon your heart so you can have a heart that is peaceful. In Solomon said, a peaceful heart now is healthy to the body. And therefore, I declare that your heart will be at peace. Anything that touches your heart, anything that begin to make your heart begin to shake, anything, oh my God, any news, any negative, any false, any, you see, the enemy knows that if he begins to disturb your heart, he will disturb your life. And therefore, he comes with all kinds of things. But I declare in the name of Jesus, says that the shalom of Elohim will encompass around you and begin to cause your heart to be at peace. It doesn't matter what the devil does, your heart will be at peace. It doesn't matter what the devil does, your soul will be at peace because peace is a tablet you take. Peace is a medicinal beneficial thing for your body. And therefore I declare that may the peace of God come upon you. May the peace of God overcome you, overcome any negative force. May the peace of God envelop you. May the peace of God envelop Envelope your children. May the peace of God envelope your steps. I declare peace over your life in the name of Jesus. May the peace of God that passes all understanding guide your heart. So today is the day that you understand that I go to the gym, I eat healthy, but I take my peace also. I need my peace. I need I I, I don't I don't fight not because I'm not strong. I don't fight because I I do peace. Peace is my thing. I don't talk too much, not because I don't have answers for this foolishness they are asking, but I just do peace. So I can, I do peace. I do peace. So I came to tell you, when we're given the option to go with a rich guy and a peaceful guy, choose a peaceful guy. When we're given the option to stay in a very peaceful place, or in a very expensive place, choose a very peaceful place. For peace is healthy. Peace is healthy. Father, we honor you today. We come under the one that is the Prince of Peace. And we take orders from him. For he will give us the peace that the world cannot give. We honor you today. In Jesus' name, amen.